So today I thought I would do a come get ready with me um, as I get on some makeup. I'm going to shoot some Patreon vlogs for my upcoming weeks. And I thought, you know what, it's kind of fun. I love following along. People are getting ready in the morning. So this is just me. Oh, well, I have to finish like, brushing my hair and doing something with it. But we're going to put on a little bit of makeup. So I'm going to start with my, um, my makeup sponge. One of those little kind of fluffy ones. So I'm going to get it wet first. Oh yeah, and then I like to squeegee it dry a little bit on a hand towel because otherwise it just kind of drips liquid on me. Okay, now I use a whole bunch of different, um, or I have in the past, and so far what I have been liking for the last, I don't know, maybe not quite a year, since like last fall, um, I noticed that my skin did not like the idea of powders anymore. I used to always do mineral powders and really light makeup and I still do very light makeup on foundation wise and everything but it just wasn't sitting on my skin as well and I don't know maybe that's just getting older that's part of it your skin changes I don't know I don't know if it's hormonal fluctuations or whatever um, so I looked around for a good uh, liquid foundation which I've always been really scared of because when I tried liquid foundation in the past I had too heavy of a hand and it had not gone well so I have been using the Ordinary, and it's the Lightweight Serum Foundation. Um, and I, I enjoy this. I don't think that it has, um, it hasn't caused too many breakouts on my skin, and it hasn't caused reddening, and some makeups, you know, some foundations when I take them off, they just cause a lot of inflammation on my skin. So this one I like, and it's really inexpensive. I order it online, or um, up in Canada they have stores, so it's pretty anything under 12 bucks that lasts you for months and months is great so i just squirt a little bit onto my finger about that much so really a very smooth amount and my skin um just has like lotion on it from the night before i haven't done anything else to it probably i should have lotioned under my eyes but before i go to bed at night i put extra lotion under my eyes because it's a little dry area for me um so kind of feel pre-lotion and then I just kind of dab this around and use the, the flat head of this and I just dab it in and sometimes I have to add some more sometimes I'm so light in coverage I'm gonna look beyond you at my mirror in case you're like where's she walking at crazy lady I don't know proof to that yep I think I probably went a little light on this not in color but in in quantity um so I really enjoy uh, switching over from a powder to a liquid foundation, which surprised me. I never thought in a million years that I would want to wear a liquid foundation because in the past when I've worn them, I think I just didn't put them on very well or I bought ones that were just too high of coverage that made me look crazy. Um, so this is just like really, really light coverage. I'm not, I'm not trying to cover everything, you know? I used to. When I was... In my super early 20s, I was super self-conscious about my skin and my skin color and I don't know, I think I couldn't decide if I wanted to be tanned or um, super pale or whatever, but I know that my, I call it my strawberry and cream, right? Because I'm pale, but I'm also very pink. Um, I really hated my, my natural color. I was so, so self-conscious about it. Painfully so. Um, and it's really... It's been good for me to like embrace the very little or no makeup because it's made me appreciate my skin more, you know? It is what it is. I have the coloring I have um, and it's been nice to learn to love my coloring and just embrace it, you know, not try to hide it under things. There you go. I just put a little bit extra on because when you're on camera, I feel like it shows up. I don't know. Your skin's imperfections, I feel like, show up a little more. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna actually go down my neck a little bit. Um, now, if I were gonna be outside or under heavy lights or anything, I would put some block on under this. But I'm just filming around my house today. So I'm not too, too worried about that. I will take my makeup off when I'm done filming. Uh, and then I'll put some sunblock if I'm gonna go out. Uh, so, you know, I'm an advocate for always wearing sunblock. And then I buy this, I don't know, every two years. It lasts a long time. It's expensive, but I think it lasts like two to four years, depending on how much you use. 
um, NARS concealer and this one is in light 1.25 and I used to get another one that had less yellows in it and what I found is that the slightly more yellow or neutrally undertone versus pink I'm just gonna use my mirror um, conceals my dark circles a little better. And I just have hereditary dark circles. Um, grandmother did, my sisters all do, we all do. Um, you know, again, embracing it. I'm not trying to cover it up too much, just trying to make myself look a little bit more awake. And I'm also absolutely sleep deprived because my son is going through some kind of sleep regression. And um, oh my God, he is just not, not, not going to sleep at night. All, it's been all week now, all week long, and it's so exhausting. So I'm using the tip of this just to go around. And again, it's not too much that I'm trying to get in. I'm gonna use my viewfinder. How's that look? That's pretty, mm, as good as it's getting. And then I'll dab any extra around my little my nosy fold things, because I always think that that looks a little bit better, a little more finished. So ta-da! That's my, sometimes that's all I do. I just I do my eyebrows and then boom, dig it, I'm set. Um, so instead, I'm gonna do a little more makeup because you know what? I wanna shoot my vlogs. And when I shoot, I, I don't always wear a ton of makeup when I shoot my Patreon vlogs, but sometimes when I wanna feel more glamorous, cause you know, some of it's got to do with glamor or the style of that, I like to put on a little more makeup. Um, let's see, as I dodge around there. Uh, -uh found it. Um, I like to be a little more glamorous sometimes cause I don't know. Just enjoy that about that platform. <laughs> so I am doing Elf Eye Creamer, Eye Creamer, Elf Cream Eyeliner. Can you tell I haven't slept all week? Yeah. Um, it is just in black. I don't, does it have? Yeah, it's just black. That's what's got, got on Amazon. Like, a, I don't know, I think it was $4 when I bought it. I bought this forever ago, just for the record. Hold on, I'm getting a little piece of toilet paper to dab this because Put my fingers in there to grab some from my eyes the other day, and I feel like our body oils are not good for that. Um, yeah, I bought it years ago. I'm so sleep deprived, you can tell. Bought it years ago, um, and I still use it. I don't know, I think I bought it. My sister tried it out, and I was like, This is gorgeous on you. So I bought one. I think that was that was when I still lived in California, so I think that's four years ago because so my son was born, so yeah, it was four years ago. Um, I was like, I'm a new mom, I need some style. So it comes with this little brush that I like a lot, but I haven't cleaned it recently. I'm a little hesitant to use it. I've had really bad eye allergies lately to irritant pollen and things, so not to makeup. But I'm gonna use something to just kind of brush in this way. Which is, and it's so fancy, you're gonna be like, Rose, I can't afford this, it's too good. A Q-tip! Yes, I buy them all at Costco. Oh, oh yeah. So I just kind of run this through. On the tip, I kind of spin it around like this. And then I hold my little eyelid. I'm gonna look at the mirror for a second. And then I just kind of suggest, oh hey, hey eyelid, how you doing? You over there? What do you what do you think about this? What do you think about? I'm gonna put this down. What do you think about being a good eyelid and just um Letting me, you know, do a little, little fancy eye makeup. Now, obviously, you probably don't want to go around like this, so you want to blend it in. And this is just stuff that I have noticed I like from my eye shape because I have slightly. Hudden's not the right word. I have very um, curved in eyes. They're really. You know, they're prominent here, and so I find that this shape, this flattering of eye makeup, that is not going to be true for everybody. And I have a lot of eyelid for eyeshadow, so I just have to be careful with that. I'm going to go check in the mirror real quick. So I have to be careful about, like, how much I'm putting on. Like, if I, if I put a whole lid of black eyeliner, which I've done, I love it, love that in college, um, it definitely, I feel like it's it's really heavy on, on that look. Um, but this just kind of plays with the natural curve of my eyelids, which which I like. Okay, how makeup-y do we want to go today? It's a good question. I am missing, in my move, you know, like two months later, I am 
still missing a ton of my eye makeup. So what I think I might do, I think I'm gonna go like a little silver on top of the black. And this is uh, Larian, Larinin, Larinin. Um, and it is a mineral company that got bought out. It used to be an independent one. And they made better makeup before they got bought out. Um, but I do like their eyeshadows. It's vegan, it's all natural, doesn't have any nanoparticulates. In no way is the sponsor by anybody. This is just my makeup routine. Um, so I like that for around my eyes. Just, I mean, obviously I'm using this cheap black eyeliner, right? But I don't know. It's nice to experiment with natural makeup, even if a lot of it doesn't work super well. So I'm gonna get my fingers wet, and then I'm gonna dab them in here. I just have it on my fingertip. Now, I would like to be using a brush, but I can't find any brushes currently, so you know what? Sometimes you just gotta do what you can do. Whatever works. And my fingers are still slightly wet, because I've noticed that allows for a heavier concentration of this kind of powdery eyeliner, or eyeshadow to go on. Okay, let me double check it. I do a little bit of highlighter powder, which I know all of it, the YouTubers are into, but it's because it makes you look like, I was going to say naughty words, like a unicorn. And this is You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter White Goddess, which sounds a little bit like a very racist thing. So, you know, please don't take it that way. That is just the name of the makeup, White Goddess. You know, we're all goddesses, no matter our skin tone. Our socioeconomic background, a little bit on my nose. All us ladies are fabulous goddesses and should be treated accordingly, gentlemen and other ladies that treat other ladies well. Yeah, I just did a little stripe on my nose, which looks really shiny when you're super close to the light. Oh, they sparkle, whoa! I have a little ring light going, filming this. Um, but when you're back a little bit from the light, it just kind of highlights that. And then I like to do a little highlighter. Well, that was, I just caught the angle that I showed y'all. You're welcome. <laughs> there, just a little bit in the corners of my eye, a little bit on my brow region, just to make my eyes pop. This is, you know, I wouldn't normally like wear this just around town, but I feel like a little bit of extra makeup sometimes helps when I'm shooting um, on camera because by the time I'm done editing everything, a little bit of makeup almost looks like it's just not even there. I think somewhere I have my regular, yeah, I posted my, um, last summer, my RV makeup routine, which is just a little bit here and there. Um, this is, I thought it'd be fun to do a vlogger makeup one. I don't think I, I have posted that on here. I don't think so. So I'm cleaning off the tip of a toothbrush. This is not a toothbrush I use on my teeth. All right. This is exclusively for doing my eyebrows. And I should really buy some eyebrow gel or something, but you know what, I'm super cheap. Um, and honestly, I've had good luck with eyebrow gel. So if you know that eyebrow gel, you let me know. I use a little bit of lotion. It's just the applicator. Um, and then I put a little bit of lotion on the toothbrush. I realize this is very eccentric, but you know what? It works for my brows. And then I just I do not have coloring that allows for like a brow pencil. I have yet to find anything that is neutral enough, but light enough uh, for my eyebrows. So I do not do any brow pencil or anything because whenever I have tried, it either makes them super dark or this weird orangey color. And that is not my color. So boom diggity, eyebrows. It helps because I stopped plucking them. This was pretty much their natural thing. Yeah, I haven't plucked them in years. I think I've plucked one eyebrow that was like right there by my eyelid, but everything else, these are my eyebrows. Um, and they look so much better than when I was over plucking them. I went through an over plucking phase. I'm not afraid to admit that. It's true. It was probably not the best idea. So I'm glad that, you know, again, it kind of goes back to the less makeup and just embracing one's skin as, as it goes. So I use, 
I use a lot of cheap um, mascaras. I met at Maybelline and this one's a CoverGirl. This is CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Oh, for when you want to crush things, yeah. Take that, feminazi haters. <laughs> I like this because it's curved. This brush I like, and I didn't know that when I bought it. Can you see that brush very well? I don't know if that's going to focus. It's a really hard brush. You know, a lot of mascara brushes are kind of soft. Um, this one is not at all. This is super inflexible and strong, which I like because it is good for crushing those clumps. Oh my god, the name makes sense. So I enjoyed that. Especially when I'm going to add a little bit extra, maybe more than I would. Oh, hello, how are you? <laughs> so. That's the part I can't talk for is the inner eye part. Because otherwise, it hits my skin. And I just have pan sad panda eyes. <laughs> so, the only other thing I think I will do is... A little bit of, this is Makeup Forever Professional Makeup in what color? Uh, number, I think, 67. Um, it's worn off because I've had this a long time. And this is my, really shows up on my skin tone. It's just a nice, solid pink. And I like it for when I want kind of a super pop, think, a little 80s pop blusher. Now again, I'm going to say that this is more makeup than I would wear day to day, right? But I find that on camera, it it looks nice. It's a nice combination. Um, and so that I always kind of double check. So I've got my foundation, got my eyes and my brows done. And then that leads me to, got to do my lipstick. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to go with, this is, boy, you know what? I don't normally wear a lot of NARS makeup. So this is funny that like today has been the NARS. <laughs> This is another NARS thing. This is a lipstick I recently got. It is Lip Lacquer in Conquest. So that I can conquest the world. I do like I have I hadn't bought a new lipstick other than some Burt Bees tinted lip gloss. I think in a couple years. Heck, yes, a couple years. Yeah. The only other ones I bought were the Burt Bees um, tinted lip glosses. So I was excited to buy one. It was just kind of a, a pink vibe. Um, oh yeah, look at that, ooh, yeah. And I used to be really into overlining my lips and just, again, like wanting my, my lips or my skin to be different than what they are. And I kind of tried to stop doing that as much. Some lipsticks just really want to be overlined a tiny bit to look good. But this one, I think you don't need to do. There it is. I'm gonna do my my hair a little bit, and then it's my makeup routine. Boop, boop. Isn't that being a way longer video than I thought it was gonna be? <laughs> but <laughs> I guess that's how long it takes me to do my makeup. Wow, I never timed them. Oh my goodness. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you liked coming along. Um, have a little chat. So thank you so much for subscribing and helping the channel grow. Don't forget to hit that little bell button so you actually see these videos, because otherwise the YouTube algorithm makes things and disappear. You can check out all my romance novels in the description box. Um, I link to my author's page on Amazon that lists all of my novels and any novels that are going to come out soon. Um, they're pretty saucy and fun and you know, a good read after you've put on your makeup. You can flounce about and be like, oh, I must read some romance. <laughs> hey, I'm going to see you in the next video.